the undisputed greatest films ever. QI, one of the undisputed greatest comedy game shows ever. Mandy by Westlife, the cover of the classic. One of the... Un- OK. But also turning 15 this year is Il Devo. And they've organised a great big tour to celebrate it. They are in the middle of it right now and broke off, thankfully, to spend a bit of time with us to talk about it. They're playing not only across the country, but across the world and at some of our most beautiful venues. Earlier, I spoke to Urs, Sebastian, Carlos and David from Il Devo. They were lovely. Hello. 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 Very well. All right. So just like you're at school, let's do a, a little register and a name check because you're not in the studio. So we have Carlos Marin. This is Carlos. How are you doing? Hello. We have Urs Bulla. Urs, Hello. Uh, we have well. Sebastian Eisenbard. How are you? Hello. How are you? And we had David Miller as well. Yo, David, how are you? Good evening. Hey. So listen, this is like the United Nations of music. I it love is. This right now. <laughs> it's a young community. Fact, absolutely. We, 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 once upon a time, we actually used that uh, in, in one of our shows. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it didn't go down well. <laughs> <laughs> we have Spain represented, Switzerland, France and America. I mean, Lord knows we need international love at the, ta- at, at the moment, don't we, right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy, absolutely. do we ever. Oh, yes. Don't we? You know, and I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm being slightly playful, but let's be honest, music has the power to heal and bring people together and you guys will know that better than anybody the amount that you've toured around the world right well that's definitely true and i'm thinking every time again when we do shows wherever which part in the world and we do meet and greets and people come and tell us the most incredible stories about what our music does to them which is uh, just last show we played in Gran Canaria we had a lady who was in a wheelchair a young lady and apparently she was in a coma forever and she woke up to our music get out of town yeah and really? it's just mm-hmm. it's just imp- so impressive when we hear stuff like that isn't that amazing I imagine you've had countless people say we got married to you you were our first dance I'm guessing there were a few babies that's been made to your music as well <laughs> Carlos would know about that <laughs> yes I know <laughs> we were I just say- behind the scene <laughs> There's so many questions I want to ask whilst Car- why Carlos knows more about that, but I can't possibly do it. <laughs> yeah, I know we yeah. know too, don't worry. Yes, it needs to be a little later now. <laughs> but, it, but it is lovely, it must be lovely to know that your music is, is involved in people's life. Your music is the soundtrack to people's lives. That's a wonderful thing as an artist to be able to say. It is. Um, you know, there's, there's really no greater accolade that we can get uh, than to know that our music is reaching people, touching their hearts, bringing them together. And as you said, in this, this day and age, it's really important. So you guys kicked off your uh, latest tour on the 26th in Mexico. You're all over the world, US, China, Russia, Japan, Australia, all over Europe, Latin America, South Africa. You've probably got no idea where you are right now, apart from just in a studio somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) The wonderful BBC studio in London. Oh, London. Okay, good, good. I'm I'm glad you realised. Do you get a chance to enjoy the, the towns and the cities and the countries that you go to, or is it all just a bit of a whirlwind with the timeless tour at the moment? Well, it depends. Yeah, if it's very active, sometimes we go to one place to the other. So there's not always the time, but um, in this case where we're about to come back here in the UK and do the Castles, Castle tour, Castles tour, excuse me, from uh, July 5th to July 23rd, we're going to have the chance to have a couple of days off in days off. Yeah, in between a couple of dates, I think. Um, but most importantly, we'll be we'll have the luxury time to uh, visit those beautiful castles and get in touch with the wonderful history that you have here in England. So yeah, it does leave a bit of time, and we do like uh, to get in touch with the places that we perform. Yeah, to. I guess there are certain markers within a career that lets you know that you're at a certain level. You know, maybe when you perform your first gig in front of 500 people, maybe your first TV performance, then you do the bigger gigs, then you do the arenas. What does it say about a band when they do a castle tour? I wonder. I mean, that that speaks volumes for your success that you can do an actual tour of castles around the world, doesn't it? It is amazing. I mean, uh, I must say there there are so much beautiful castles around on the UK, and, and it's fantastic. I mean, we we did it many years ago, and that was an, an amazing experience. I mean, to to be there. I mean, to see to see the houses, to see the castle, and then and then have a sight scene, and and then of course, I mean, do the show with this fantastic audience that we have. In the UK, because they're, they're they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean this this is part of the the timeless tour, which is celebrating the fifteenth anniversary. I mean, it's a bit <laughs> of a cliche question, but if somebody would have said to you fifteen years ago when you first started out, this would be your lives now, would you have believed them? No, 
No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know we all had other things going on in our careers and in our lives. Um, we were on four very disparate trajectories, and the first time the four of us got in a room and into a studio, and all of a sudden there was this just magic, this blending of our voices that that really made the hairs even on our own neck stand up on end. It was really something magical and special, and we were just taking it one day at a time, trying to, you know, make sure each track, is it good enough? Will it fit the album? Okay, we've got an album. Is the album good enough? Are we going to do a good tour? Is it going to be good enough? And just always kind of keeping our nose to the grindstone. Here we are 15 years later. It's like, whoa, looking back on everything we've done, it's it's incredible. Yeah, 30 million albums sold, 160 gold and platinum albums in 33 countries around the world you were named as the classical brit artist of the decade uh in the last few years i mean at, at what point do you think you boys will start being successful though that's the real question <laughs> um yeah i don't know i don't know that's really a good question because i you know what i'll tell you something very honest and i don't want this to sound arrogant at all but i think we still haven't looted out our whole potential come on i think there's there's still much more to come yeah we still have so much more to give and i still think that we're going i mean take our latest album you know timeless it's the first time we've completely said registered that whole album from the original concept to choosing the songs choosing the studios producers overseeing the mixes the artwork we've all done that without any record company or anybody dictating anything and i think we're going for strength to strength you know so there we still have so much ideas and so much energy for this so the new album you've got covers of some classic and big songs on there as well what a wonderful world louis armstrong nat king cole's unforgettable a lot of pressure to get those right robbie williams and Angels, John Legend's All of Me, you're doing Adele's uh, Hello in Spanish, which when I read it, I, I, I didn't see the Spanish bit, so I just thought you changed it to holla. <laughs> I, I, thought that was, I thought that was David getting involved and trying to bring it back to his roots in America. It was like, yo, holla. <laughs> Those, that's not my roots. <laughs> well, and the other good thing is that, that David has directed the, the, the video clip from Hola. Right. So, so he, he has been the director of the video. So that's a, that's another something fantastic to add to what uh, yeah what was just said. But you, you you place yourself, I guess, and you probably want to do this. You want to put pressure on yourself because people have such high expectations when it comes to songs like that. You are known as the pop classic crossover band and the most successful one in the history of doing it. But you could take an easy route, I guess. You could kind of do the songs that have been done before. So why do you want to take the risk when it comes to these sorts of records and put yourself out there to be judged? But life gets exciting, no? Taking risks, for yeah. sure. Otherwise, we just get bored, we go on stage, and we don't have any passion. And we are passionate singers um, and producers. You know, it was very exciting for us to put this album together as a producer of our own record. And um, going into the studio, finding the people to put that together ourselves, uh, putting that live, which is really why we, you know, we, we st- were together to put th- that, share that with an audience. Um, and those songs are always very challenging because they're very well known. You mentioned Adele, hello, you know, so we don't want people to go, oh, it's another cover. Mm. So luckily enough, we have a sound, I believe, and we make it our own song and try to bring it somewhere else where it doesn't become a joke from Adele, you know, song. Mm. And I think we're very lucky to be able to bring songs that are been written now or from the 30s, the 40s, the 60s, 70s, 80s. You know, that's was the purpose of the album is to bring all the songs with a sound that will reach an audience from, um, you know, zero to a hundred basically um and, and and i hope we manage to do that yeah how do you boys how do you stay grounded and do normal things as well because i imagine a lot of your life is flying around in jets and obviously don't ask the question carlos please. <laughs> i will tell you no. it's <laughs> because you know there's, there's only there's only so much kind of swimming in pools of money and private jets and supermodels and all that that you can take isn't it do you do normal things as well oh we wish all of those things were happening <laughs> well that's my life i just thought everybody <laughs> did that like. <laughs> good for you congratulations well, i can take a lot of models so yeah, well, that, 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 oh uh, carlos carlos settled the family show <laughs> 
No, because it's you know it's it's an interesting thing what's happening right now in in the music industry, and it's wonderful that people are sharing and you know kumbaya but uh, that does not help um, <laughs> artists who are making their livelihood uh, from music and and it just it makes things increasingly difficult increasingly expensive and so you know we just have to keep following the passion and and that's really all it's about mm. you've got to keep wearing those suits as well because i've never seen a group of men look better in suits than you boys <laughs> we've, had, you. we've had oh. these same suits for three years now <laughs> <laughs> She's got a very good dry cleaner. Yeah, it's exactly. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what is Kumbaya, by the way? <laughs> is that a new cover? <laughs> That's for the next album. The fantastic, the lovely Il Devo on the programme there. Yours, Sebastian Carlos and David. Just 